Hello, in this video I'm going to discuss darlings of equity. So if you recall from a previous video, if you watched them in order, a, an equitable proprietary right binds against the whole world except darlings of equity. Therefore it's very important to know who a darling of equity is so that you know who the proprietary right does not bind. Um, and because these are about uh, Brett's equity diagrams, I'm going to just draw a diagram the way that I always remember a darling of equity. For some reason, in my head, when I think of an equities darling, I get the image of a bird. So that's the diagram for this video. And the darling of equity is a bona fide purchaser for value without notice. Bona fides mean the darling of equity must be acting in good faith. They must be a purchaser, which in equity is simply the recipient of the property. It's not a purchaser in the ordinary sense of the word as it's used today. The for value makes them an ordinary purchaser because they must give valuable consideration. And they cannot have notice of the equitable proprietary right that they're trying to avoid. That's the darling of equity. I hope that helps.